What's up, man? So right here, I'm going to go ahead and read um, the article. Reggie Wright brought this to attention. Las Vegas police search home in connection to Tupac's, Tupac Shakur's killing. Now this is believed to be Keefe D's home. Uh, let me go ahead and read right here. The Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department confirmed Tuesday that a search warrant was served at a home in connection to the death of rapper Tupac Shakur. On July 17th, police made entry into a home in Henderson. Now they say Henderson is where Keefe D lived. The specific location was not released and no other details have been made public. The multi-platinum recording artist was shot and killed in a drive-by shooting on September 7, 1996. The vehicle he was in had been stopped at a red light in Las Vegas when it happened. Shot multiple times, the rapper was, was rushed to a nearby hospital where he died a week later. Nevada does not have a statute of limitations for prosecuting homicide cases. He was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2017. Now, I don't know if they ever found the murder weapon that killed Tupac. I think they didn't. For them to be having a, a arrest warrant, it might be that somebody snitching. Could be somebody snitching on Keefe D. You know what I'm saying? It could be Keefe D done went around opening his mouth, bragging, probably still got the gun, bragging. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking, yeah, I'm, just, I'm just using my imagination. Keefe D probably showing people the gun that shot Tupac. Yeah, this is a gun right here, man. This is the gun that killed that nigga. You want to buy it? He could have been doing some crap like that. Showing niggas the gun. Telling niggas this is the gun that killed Tupac. You know what I'm saying? And uh, got it up in his house. And somebody went and snitched. Probably, probably they, want, they, they probably won an award. They probably want a monetary reward for snitching. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> when you do dirt, bruh, you got to do it by your lonely. <laughs> See, it's hard for niggas to keep their mouth closed. Niggas tell on themselves all day, every day, 24-7, nigga. Niggas going to tell on themselves, bruh, all the time. So, in my imagination, I'm thinking, yeah, this nigga probably, somebody salty with him. And said, and no probably got some information on Keefe, some incriminating information that links him to the murder of Tupac. Well, you know, the Keefe D snitched on himself, man. It's too, Keefe D already admitted to the murder, to the murder of Tupac. You know what I mean? To driving the car, to being a getaway driver, to the drive-by shooter, to being a, to being a uh, driver. In the drive-by that killed Tupac. You know, Keefe D admitted to being that person already. But yeah, that's it for me. Oh yeah, I got another video. Keep watching. What up, what up, what up? Big news, man. So I see that uh, on Bomb First Channel, Reggie Wright alludes that Keefe D's house at might be well has gotten uh raided by the LA Police Department, Las Vegas Police Department. He alluded to it was Keefe D's house. He didn't say it was Keefe D's house, but uh he can't he can't say that. He can't say who house it is, but he's given us hints that strong indication that it's Keefe D's house. Because, like, like I said, they say Keefe D, well, they say a house located in Las Vegas, and that's where Keefe D live, <clears throat> is being raided for the mur murder of Tupac. And I don't know what the hell they going to find in that house. You know what I mean? But that Queen for a Day deal that Keefe D had, uh, what's his name, told him. Investigator told him that um, you can go ahead, go ahead and confess to the murder that you was involved in with Tupac, and if you talk about this outside of this day, if you if you talk about this 
any other time after today, we can't protect you. We can't. We can't protect you from being arrested, from being indicted. And who told him told him that? Craig Greg Greg Kading told Keefe D that. And Keefe D been doing interviews, you know, on YouTube talking about it after that. You know, he did a couple of, he did a lot of interviews talking about it after that. Stupid dude, man. <laughs> Stupid dude. Okay. So, you know, do you just want to go to jail, bro? Subconsciously, he might do. You know what I mean? Your subconscious will direct your life. Look, look what he did with Tupac's life. Tupac's subconscious was directing his life. Well, the subconscious directs all our lives. And it could be Keefe D, you know. He don't want to go to prison, but that subconscious is making <laughs> that subconscious is like, hey man, you gonna tell on yourself, and that's what he's doing. He doing stupid. He, he making stupid moves. You know, just like Reggie say, man, go somewhere and disappear. But you know, that fame is something serious, bro. And you know, man, I know a lot of us look at Keefe D. We look at him, he looked like he's bad and look like he's out of shape. A lot of y'all really don't don't uh don't put him in don't see him as the murderer of Tupac. Y'all y'all don't see that. Y'all don't see that. Y'all are in denial. A lot a lot of y'all are in denial. A lot of y'all be coming up with your own conspiracies. And y'all don't and y'all think Keefe D just said that to get out of jail or whatever. Confess he just confessed to, to being involved in the murder of Tupac to get out of jail. But the man done said this after after uh, that day, after that Queen for a Day statement, he he's consistent with saying what happened that night. And y'all gotta realize he is just as guilty as the trigger man. Probably even more guilty. Well, I ain't gonna say even more because it's all, it's all equal. But he is just he is he is just as guilty as the, as the trigger man. Whoever it was, Keefe D is just as, just as guilty because if it wasn't for Keefe D, they would have never found Tupac that night. You know, it was y'all gotta remember it was Keefe D. The one driving around. Think about this. He was the one. It's his fault. For Tupac dying that night. Because he was driving. Around. Like they kept, like he said. They kept driving around. Till they found the man. Till they found Pop. And so when he said. Oh they go over there. That man. Keep it each. So they already had in their mind, we're going to kill this motherfucker. We're going to kill this nigga. Keefe D, Orlando, and Orlando might have had second thoughts a little bit, but Keefe D driving, we're going to get this motherfucker pressuring his nephew. And then the other guy in the back, Big Dre, feeling the pressure because... Keep it easy at the wheel. You know what I mean? Keep it easy had malice in his heart. He was at the wheel. With a lot of nerve. With murder on his mind. Okay, that, that them niggas go. They've been driving around. They went to Club 62. Keep it easy driving. Looking for him. Came back. Driving the strip again. Looking for him. Finally. Man, what is that? A psychopath? Keefe D was on cold level red that night. It was on cold level terror alert that night. Temperature to temperature all the way up. Hot. When gonna stop till they found Tupac? They look for him at 62. You know what I mean? He went there. Came back. 
circled around the strip. Oh, that, and then they found them. Oh, here you go right there. You see them girls hollering? There you go. Pull up on them, and I want you to shoot this motherfucker. That's what Keith D had on his mind. That's what he pretty much said. Yo, we gonna pull up beside him. You shoot that motherfucker. Y'all gotta remember. So when y'all be laughing at Keith D jokes, remember that. Rolled up beside Suge and Pac. In the car. Keith D driving. Rolled right up. Okay. Handle your business. So, like I said, Keith D just as guilty as the trigger man, man. Don't forget. He looked like a harmless old man right now, but... Um, don't forget, man. Because, you know, they had time to cool off. It probably was an hour before they finally found Tupac. They had time to cool off, man, and think about the shit. You know what I mean? So what is that? Premeditated murder? You know what I'm saying? That wasn't no just... Passion, murder, just passion, losing control. They really thought about this shit, planned this shit out. You know, had time to think about, think about what they're gonna do. Had time to cool off. No nah, man, they had murder on their mind at night. And 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 and, and D was the OG in that in that car. He could have. Control the situation. He could have got with Shug and said, hey, my boy want a one-on-one. Y'all jumped him. Now, we could kill y'all niggas. We had you right there. We could kill you. But we want a one-on-one. But Keefe didn't say that. And they killed him so... If if the LA if the LA if the Vegas police is raiding Keefe D's house right now, then Keefe D got he he, he got he got to pay his dues. He got to pay his dues, man. If that's what's happening, you know, I don't know what they're looking for, but it looks like they want him. They want him. They probably tired of looking at him on. On these interviews, and they're like, man, let's get this dude. You know what I'm saying? Because if the law wants you, the law gonna get you. You know what I'm saying? If the law wants you, they gonna get you. They gonna find a way to get you. Right or wrong. You know? So we'll we'll keep watching. Till then, peace.